So as you can hear, we have a new um, theme tune for the good bad bit of the show. It might actually make the whole experience more pleasant. I mean, the last one was a bit prodigy, you know. This one's a bit more... I don't know, vibe, vibey? It's gonna, keep, it's gonna put me off a bit, all that, um, that singing. But it's okay, we'll get through it. I'll just dub it a bit there. Like that. There we go. Right, so... Let's, um... Let's see what we've got to deal with this week. And see if I can get through this without any bad language. So, we'll get straight into it. There's not many entries this week, thank God. Oh my buddha, what is this? So... Are you sure you've entered the right competition? Was this an all-you-can-eat buffet? Did that... How long did that take you to eat and digest? A week? You've been eating that all week. That is too much food. Uh, sorry, you come last. Next man. Oh, my days. Oh, gosh. This bit of the show's starting to stress me out now. So, have you been to, um, like, five different takeaways there? And just, like, put them all together? He's gone to a Chinese, an Indian, um... I'm not seeing how that in any way represents a kebab of the week competition. If that was a, a mix up a load of takeaways into one big mess competition, then yeah, yeah, strong entry. Right, this, what is going on? What's he done to that? Why, why have you done that to it? Is that? Is that carrots or cheddar cheese? Either way, it's wrong. And what is that sauce? That looks like you've eaten a bit of that orange stuff and thrown it back up on the tink. That's... That's a terrible entry. I don't know why you didn't come lower, actually. Is that that martyr, Martin guy? I can't even say his name. Standard Starsky car kebab coming quite high this week. I mean, what can we say? It's, it's the same business every time, you know? He, he, he comes with a standard. He's got all the correct elements, he's just never quite there. Has he ever won it? I don't think he's ever won it. In fact, I might make it a thing that you never win it. Because <laughs> it's my show and my competition, I can do what I want. This guy... <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that bread yourself and leave the toaster on or something? I mean, look at that's that's black. That that is like eating burnt toast. <laughs> I can't believe you, you didn't send that back, yo. It's meant to be really bad for you eating burnt toast. Apparently, it probably gives you all kinds of stuff. Um, don't take my word for it. It's, uh, I just made it up, but it's probably a fact. It's probably somewhere on Google. Right, so, getting to the winner. I'm glad I've got through this so quickly without any bad language. The winner's actually fucking American. Unbel oh, oh, yeah. Can you believe an American can win this competition? And do you know why simplicity, guys? That's a kebab. The other things you guys were entering were very questionable. I'm not sure you remembered which competition you was entering. This is not rate my takeaway with that fat dude on YouTube. <laughs> this is the kebab shop sound system. And that's been kebab of the week.
all right, I'll get it. Yeah, no worries. Hello? Hello, no. How's it going, mate? Yeah, not bad. Pack her out. 175 kebabs, really. Yeah? Right? Yeah, we can deliver them. Where they gonna go to? Yeah, can do that. That would you? Nah, mate, I don't think the lads will be able to carry enough food to get there. You do know you don't live in Belgium, yeah? Live and direct in the mix. We don't want to sell for real. Ranching my selection.